Hi guys, I hope you like that little intro. Uh, that little intro is kind of a tribute to that movie with Ed O'Neill called uh, Dutch, which is uh, one of my all-time favorite movies. Uh, it's about a spoiled rich kid, and Ed O'Neill is a, is a would-be stepdad, future stepdad to the young man, trying to be. And he kind of uh, teaches him some life lessons in a cross-country trip. Fantastic movie, guys. If you've never seen the movie Dutch, D-U-T-C-H with Ed O'Neill, it's definitely worth you checking it out, especially if you're a married with children's fan. And I know most of the guys watching this video right now have probably already seen this movie and know what I'm talking about. But for you guys maybe that are younger than 30 and haven't had a chance to see this movie, you might want to check it out. Any case, there's this knife company out there. Uh, well, it's not really a knife company, guys. It's an online uh, merchandise company. They make everything from uh, drinking flasks to mugs to all kinds of stuff. And I've been seeing these knives floating around on eBay for a while. And they started off initially pretty darn cheap. I think they were going for like 13 bucks, And... And then I decided, well, let me look into it. I tried to bid on a few, and then it started to skyrocket past 13, and it went all the way up to 25. I think I paid 25 for this one, plus shipping came out to 30, which is uh, incidentally what they charge for in the company. So that's the price. Uh, I guess this is what these people paid for it, uh, 30 bucks right there. But in any case, the name of the company is Trixie and Milo. And Trixie and Milo make several products and they sell online. But what intrigued me about this knife was, number one, the pattern. Number two, it's got two blades in it. One of them is a cap lifter slash uh, flathead screwdriver. And the other one is, of course, the blade. So I haven't really seen a knife just in that combination with just the blade and the cap lifter. So that's why I really wanted it. But check out this box it comes in. It says you're only as sharp as your knife. How's that for a saying, guys? That's very similar to what I say. Keep your knives sharp and keep your wits even sharper. That's very similar to what I say. Uh, it says Mac the Knife. And it says Genuine Trixie and Milo Product. Now, check this out. Let's see what it says in the back. It says, this classic sunfish style pocket knife harkens back to the days when every man in America carried a blade with him wherever he went. My grandfather always said a smart man will always keep his powder dry, his knife sharp, and his whiskey handy. And then it goes on to say, this Trixie and Milo pocket knife has a hand sharpened blade made from a superior quality 7CR17MOV grade stainless steel. Solid brass bolsters and an original Americana style design printed on the handle. A knife is not a toy. Very nice. I like the box. I think uh, that's probably part of the reason for the cost of the knife. Uh, but let's check this out. Ugh, it's kind of tough in here. Okay, so right here you see it says hold fast and you have that really cool Americana, quote unquote Americana design. Looks like something that would be painted along the side of a, of a vintage US airplane or something like that, a Mustang or something like that. And then it says hold fast. That's a pretty cool design there, guys. By the way, I hope you enjoyed that little tease I did in the beginning. I was talking it over with... Uh, I didn't tell him that I was going to do this, but I talked talked it over with Sean over at the EDC den, and I told him, hey, when you show a knife and you just show a piece of it like that, it kind of reminds me of that part of that Ed O'Neill movie, Dutch, where he starts flashing those playing cards. And that's where I got the idea. There's a scene in that movie where he's slowly showing the kid the playing cards, and he starts doing a little dance with taking out the card, and the the young lady on the other side of the card is peeking out uh, from behind his hand and gets the little boy uh, intrigued as to what's going to come out. And next thing you know, you know, it makes for a funny scene. Anyway, so check it out. It says stay sharp. It's nice. It's got two springs on it. Okay. These knives remind me a lot of those uh, knives you might buy, the sunfish or elephant toe pattern knives that you might want to get. Um, from Rough Rider or Marbles. I don't know if they're also uh, made by the same manufacturers in China, but it looks like it's pretty much the same knife. Let's check out the blade. Again, the blade very similar to something you would get in a Rough Rider or Marble Sunfish. Check it out. Ha. Ha. 
and uh, not bad. I do like it. I like the feel of it. It's about four inches long closed. It's a really cool knife. Check out this big flathead though. And this is big guys. This is a big flathead as far as flatheads go. This cap lifter is ample. It's almost like this wants to make sure that you're able to lift any cap out there. And then it has this little wire stripper, which I don't really know how handy that would be, to be honest. It does not look as good as a Victorinox, but, uh, this is a big uh, flathead screwdriver and cap lifter, so check that out. So once again, I got it because of this combination. It only had this blade and the main blade, and I had never really seen a knife with that combination before. I thought, you know what, that might be a real handy combination to carry. Plus, this is a cool conversation piece. If a friend of yours says, hey, do you have a knife I can borrow? And you lend him this one, like, oh, hey, where'd you get this one? You know, it might be something of a conversation starter. In any case... I wanted to show you this, guys. I wanted to show you they're out there. Um, it's out there. It's called Trixie and Milo. Uh, you might want to check out the website. They may still have the knives on the website. If not, you can find them on eBay. There's a couple on eBay right now. All right, guys. This is a knife detector signing off saying keep your knives sharp. Keep your wits even sharper. And stay sharp, my friends.